Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multi step inequalities. We're going to solve each inequality and graph its solution. So if I was given this inequality, 1 at 67 is less than 6 plus 7 times 2 minus 7r. Okay? Well, I'm going to subtract a 6 to both sides to try to bring things over. Okay, There's many ways to solve this problem. 167 minus 6 is a 161 is less than 7 now excuse me, times 2 minus 7r. Okay, Well, if I want to divide by 7 on both sides, that would eliminate this 7 here Okay, instead of distributing it across. Well, what's 161 divided by 7? I personally don't know. It's not my head. 161 divided by 7, let's use our calculator, we have a 23. So we have 23 here is less than 2 minus 7r. Okay? Now it becomes a more manageable problem. I'm going to subtract a 2 to both sides, leaving me 23 minus 2 is 21, is less than a negative 7r. Well, now I can divide by a negative 7 to both sides, leaving me a 21 divided by negative 7 is a negative 3. And then the r here is just on the right because the negative 7s cancel. But remember, we're divided by a negative over the inequality, the sign needs a flip. Okay? But, I'm not done, because I want to rewrite this so r comes first. So if r is coming first, we have r there, is now instead of, so negative 3 being greater than r, I have r is less than a negative 3. These two statements are the same, but make sure when you rewrite it, have r first, you need to flip that inequality again. Okay? So now we have our final answer. I need to graph it. So let's graph it right here. We have an uh, r is less than a negative 3. So we have 0, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. 3, if I can fit it in there, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, a positive 1, and positive 2. Well, if r is less than a negative 3, it's not equal to negative 3, so I'm going to put an open circle there at negative 3. Then we shade to the left, or put our arrow to the left, because r is less than that negative 3. And then we have it. We have our graph here that represents, or matches, our answer, which is r is less than a negative 3. So let's recap. We had 167 is less than 6 plus, parentheses, 7, uh, parentheses, yeah, 7 parentheses, 2 minus 7r. I subtract this uh, 6 to both sides, giving me 161 left on the left here, and then a 7 times 2 minus 7r on the right. I divided by 7 to both sides there, and got a 23 using my calculator on the left, because that's 161 divided by 7, and then what's inside the parentheses on the right, 2 minus 7r. Subtract the 2 to both sides, giving me 21 on the left, is less than a negative 7r on the right. Divided by negative 7 now to both sides, giving me r by itself on the right and a negative 3 on the left because 21 divided by negative 7 is a negative 3. But importantly, I needed to flip that inequality. Divide by a negative uh, over an inequality, it needs to flip. Now I need to rewrite this and r come first. And so in doing so, by having r come first, I, I need to flip the inequality again. So now if r is less than a negative 3, instead of negative 3 is greater than r. Okay? So now I wanted to graph that. It's an uh, open circle because it's not equal to negative 3. And then from there, uh, I need to shade to the left or put my arrow to the left because we said r is less than negative 3. So now my graph matches my final answer, which is r is less than a negative 